All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Bears Daily. My name is Jackson, and today we're going to be talking about some stuff on the Chicago Bears offense. So preseason is officially over and we have the regular season starting less than two weeks away the bears get it going against the san francisco 49ers but we saw so many great flashes the other day against the cleveland browns it was just crazy it was it was truly crazy this was like in my head it was every bears fan it was like the best possible way to end the preseason and keep in mind man the chicago bears went three and oh in the preseason they went 3-0, and and I will say this. I don't put too much stock into preseason. Right? I don't put actually much stock into preseason at all. But I will tell you this, because living here in Chicago, I get a fair taste of my Bears slander in the national media, or I should say I have more of a awareness of the slander of the Bears in the you know, football media world. If the Bears had gone 0-3, you would be hearing about this. You would 100% be hearing a ton of naysayers ragging on the chicago bears for going 0 three but they just went three and oh and you're hearing absolutely nothing so you know, like i said take it with a grain of salt because it is just preseason and it's just the way the cookie crumbles i guess if this team went 0 and three they would be getting so much backlash right now i know for a fact but what we saw this weekend what we saw on saturday was justin fields go 14 of 16 for 156 yards three touchdowns, zero interceptions, and 146.9 quarterback rating. So he played out of his mind. He played out of his mind. And this is, it's basically kind of what we saw last season, like all of his glimpses, all of his flashes in Matt Nagy's brutal, catastrophic offense. We just saw that for a whole half, or almost a whole half. Simeon did come in at the end of the second. But we saw that for like drive after drive after drive is just all this efficiency and one of my favorite things is how the tight ends were being utilized we saw two tight ends get touchdowns we got ryan griffin first one 22 yard catch which was just a nice little route it was a perfect little throw by justin fields and then you saw cole Komet pick up three receptions for 36 yards and a touchdown and we've been seeing cole Komet kind of all preseason it's it's looking like he's about to take that leap right last season we saw a lot more jimmy graham related routes we saw a lot it was a more red zone heavy jimmy graham this year it's gonna be cole Komet. i think cole Komet easily clears six touchdowns i might even draft him in fantasy football i don't even know cole Komet's gonna have a good year he's gonna have a good year he's gonna catch a bunch of touchdowns justin fields is gonna throw him a bunch of touchdowns but when I look at this Bears team in a whole, man, I, I really don't think that they're that bad. You know, I really think that they have a lot to prove. I think there's a lot of guys who are on here who are on these one-year contracts. They're on their, these one-year prove-it deals. They're coming from different teams. They're coming from different organizations where they either just didn't produce to the level they were expected to produce. But it's mainly the way I see it, guys like Nicholas Morrow, The way I'm seeing it is it's a lot of guys who just haven't really been given a full opportunity. They haven't been given a full shot. And then you have guys like Lucas Patrick that you went out there and just snagged from the Green Bay Packers, you know, team that wasn't willing to pay him or whatever they were, whatever their deal was with Lucas Patrick. Bears, that is definitely right up their alley. You saw a great draft in Braxton Jones. Like the offensive line is not great. It's not a top five offensive line in the NFL. But in my eyes, it's completely adequate. You know, this is a completely adequate offensive line. And I look at the offensive line. I look at the quarterback in Justin Fields. I'm very big on Justin Fields. I know that Ohio State doesn't have a good track record in the slightest. However, however, I think that we I think they'll be 100 percent okay. 100% 100% okay. I, I really think that that's why you brought in Eberflus. That's why you brought in who you brought in is because you want to make, you brought in these specific guys to bring out the good so, the good spots in Justin Fields. You brought these guys in here to turn Justin Fields into a superstar caliber quarterback because we saw plenty of these flashes last year. We saw plenty of these flashes in, in college. It's just about bringing it all together, bringing it all at a consistent, efficient level. And that's exactly what we saw in this last preseason game against the Cleveland Browns. And honestly, that's kind of what we've been seeing all preseason with Justin Fields. I mean, all off season with Justin Fields. This guy is repeatedly getting hyped 
and he's repeatedly getting praised. You see guys not only on the Chicago Bears, right? not only guys like Cole Komet or what have you telling reporters, telling the media, like, listen, this dude is the hardest working guy I think I've ever met. He's first one in, he's last one out every single day. He's put in a bunch of work, he's gotten bigger, he's gotten better, the whole nine yards. Then you also are hearing this from like former players. And to me, that speaks volumes. When a former player is saying, hey, this guy's going to be really good. I really like what I'm seeing. That's music to my ears right there. And you pair all that with your running backs, David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert. I can't wait to see what the rookie, Tristan, Eb Tristan Ebner, does. Very excited about the Bears running back room. I think David Montgomery is poised for a breakout season here. I think if not, Khalil Herbert and Tristan Ebner, they're going to be very efficient, very quality running backs. We look at the receiver room. That's where the Bears have gotten the most kind of diss outside of the offensive line is, yeah, you know, Justin Fields, you'll have people say, oh yeah, Justin Fields is cool, but the Bears have not helped him in any way, shape, or form. And I honestly can understand that. I really, I, I think... This is where I stand a little bit differently than some of the Bears fans I know where I actually think who they have right now is perfectly okay. And, you know, you have your Darnell Mooney, you have your new players like Byron Pringle, but I'm specifically looking at guys like Dante Pettis. I'm looking at Equinemia St. Brown. I think those are two guys who just have never really been given a full opportunity in this league. And what they've been showing me in the preseason, I think it's going to carry over and translate into the regular season. Defensively speaking, the Bears are extremely young. They're extremely, you know, I don't want to say inexperienced here, but I will say this. It's not as bad as people think. I think at the end of the day, this is a middle of the pack defense at worst. I think that they'll end somewhere around middle of the pack. If you had just gotten, like, just one move had gone a little bit differently in this in this offseason I'm looking at Larry Ogunjobi if the Bears had actually signed Larry Ogunjobi like they had agreed to they had a contract they had it ready to go and what ended up happening is Larry failed his physical and I don't know what went on with that you have some naysayers saying that was a Ryan Poles issue you have some people saying that's just stuff we can't control but if you had gotten Larry Ogunjobi onto this team there would be so much more praise. They're literally like a piece or two away from their defense being like, oh yeah, damn, that's they're, they're pretty fun to watch. And you're going to get that with Kyler Gordon. You're going to get that with Jaquan Brisker. I think you're going to get that with guys like Eddie Jackson, Jalen Johnson in the secondary. I just genuinely think the Bears are a much better team than a lot of people are giving them credit for. I won't go as far to say as this team's winning at all. I'm not going as far to say as this team is 100% making the playoffs. I'm just saying nothing's impossible. So hit that like button for me, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later. But most importantly, go ahead, drop some season predictions down below on the Chicago Bears. Peace.